I have to show you this clip. Take a listen to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez grilling Mark Zuckerberg. So you have Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, by her own admission, not the expert. Let's put it that way, okay? Not, uh, not the brightest bulb in the pack, not the sharpest tool in the shed, grilling Mark Zuckerberg, one of the most intelligent people on earth. It goes pretty much as well as you would expect. Do you see a potential problem here with a complete lack of fact-checking on political advertisements? Well, Congresswoman, I think lying is bad, and I think if you were to run an ad that had a lie, that would be bad. That's different from it being, uh, from it, from, for in our position, the right thing to do to prevent uh, your constituents or people in an election from seeing that you had lied. Um, so we can... So you won't take down lies or you will take down lies? I think it's just a pretty simple yes or no. Congresswoman, uh, in... I'm not talking about spin. I'm talking about actual in, Yes, in most cases, in a democracy, okay. I believe that people should be able to see for themselves what politicians that they may or may not vote for so are you saying won't take judge them their down. character for themselves. So you won't take... You may flag that it's wrong, but you won't take it down. Uh, Congresswoman, it's, uh, it, it depends on the context that it shows up, organic post... Ads, okay. the, the treatment is a little One different. question, one more question. She obviously doesn't know very much of what she's talking about. You could, you could make that statement after almost anything that AOC says. What Mark Zuckerberg could have responded, though, and he was trying to keep his composure and seem like he's uh, being very respectful, that's why he keeps referring to his congresswoman, is she's asking him to censor his, her political opponents. She's saying, you're not going to take down things that I deem lies in politics. In politics, each side is always calling the other side liars. So let's say, to, to use a similar example that she gives, let's say that a politician runs an ad and says, AOC is going to raise your taxes. And AOC says, I'm not going to raise your taxes. I'm only going to raise taxes for certain people. And I'll actually balance it out and write this kind of typical fights. You hear this in almost every single election. And AOC says, I demand you take down that post that says I'm going to raise your taxes, which is more or less what she's asking for. What if it were a TV commercial? AOC is going to raise your taxes. I'm AOC's opponent, and I approve this message. Are you going to demand that cable providers take down that message because AOC doesn't like it? What if it's a palm card? What if it's a little pamphlet that's sent in the mail? Are you going to demand that the post office censors that palm card, censors that campaign information? No, of course not. But with Facebook, they see an opening. This Facebook has so much power and it's so new that they see an opening for the left to just grab hold of this entire institution. And Zuckerberg acquitted himself pretty well and he refused to kowtow to her. AOC is also upset that Mark Zuckerberg has been having dinner with conservatives and she goes after him. In your ongoing dinner parties with far-right figures, some of who advance the conspiracy theory that white supremacy is a hoax, did you discuss so-called social media bias against conservatives, and do you believe there is a bias? Uh, Congresswoman, um, so I don't remember everything that was in the, send in, in the question. That's all right. I'll move on. Can you explain why you've named The Daily Caller, a publication white, uh, well-documented with ties to white supremacists as an official fact-checker for Facebook? Congresswoman, sure. We actually don't appoint the independent fact checkers. They go through an independent organization called the Independent Fact Checking Network that has a rigorous standard for who they allow to, uh, to serve as a fact checker. So you would say that white supremacist tied uh, publications meet a rigorous standard for fact checking? Thank you. Uh, Congresswoman, I would say that we're not the one assessing that, that standard. The International Fact-Checking Network is the one who is setting that standard. So this is why you can't let AOC control Facebook is because she says, look, I'm not trying to censor people who put spin. I'm just trying to censor, you know, liars. And then in the very next sentence, she refers to the Daily Caller, which is a completely mainstream conservative outlet as a white supremacist outlet. Just there's no basis for that whatsoever. So she's a liar. Does she, get, does she get censored on Facebook? Probably not. But what she would do is any, any organization to the right of Hillary Clinton, probably any organization to the right of Bernie Sanders, she would censor from Facebook. And it's just that it's the arrogance. It's that smug, unbelievable arrogance. She says, you've been having dinner with these far right figures. So listen to this, this just 
fruit salad of words. Some far-right figures, some of whom believe the conspiracy theory that white supremacy is a hoax. So she's saying, she's saying the premise is our government is white supremacist, that we're, we're pretty much living in the antebellum South. We're living with slaves, black slaves on the basis of their skin color. And we're living in this, you know, kind of fever dream of, of leftists. And if you don't believe that, if you don't think we're living in the pre-Civil War South, then you're a conspiracy theorist. That's what AOC is saying. Hey, Michael Knowles here. And the fact is, these cigars aren't cheap. Be sure to subscribe to The Daily Wire on YouTube because I depend heavily on your support to continue enjoying this wonderful, lib-triggering life.